Students, in this video, we will be discussing about Norton's theorem. So here is the statement of it. Any linear active network with the two output terminals can be replaced by a single current source in parallel with single impedance. So here is the pictorial representation of this uh, Norton's theorem. Uh, given a linear active network with the two terminals where you are going to connect your load, you can find an equivalent Norton circuit by finding uh, two elements. One is the Thevenin's impedance or in case of DC circuits, it is called as Thevenin's resistance and short circuit current or the other name is Norton's uh, current. So, if uh, we find these two elements, then put these two elements in parallel so that you get an uh, equivalent circuit for a given active network. Let me demonstrate this Norton's uh, theorem uh, by using this circuit. I am going to take this 10 ohms resistor as a load resistor. So, let me mark AB across this load as a first step. Let me find Thevenin's resistance. So we have already discussed uh, during uh, Thevenin's theorem discussion how to find uh, uh, Thevenin's resistance. So first thing is you have to remove the load and then you have to remove all the sources in the circuit. That is voltage source has to be removed by short circuiting and current source has to be removed by open circuiting. So let me draw a circuit without sources that is short circuiting this 10 volt 5 ohm will be there this 5 ohm also will be there 5 volt is short circuited this 2 ohms is available and you have to remove your load load is removed so a b 5 5 and 2 now thevenin's equivalent resistance has to be found by looking into the entire circuit from the point of uh, a b Okay, so when you look from uh, A, the entire uh, uh, circuit, we cross this two and at this point you can see that there will be a division of branch into two that is 5 ohms and 5 ohms which means that these two branches are in parallel. If we pump in uh, current in this terminal A, then obviously the current will pass through these two ohms, get divided into these two arms and both the currents will join at this point and will go to ground. So this means that uh, resistance across AB otherwise called as Thevenin's resistance is nothing but 5 in parallel with 5 and in series with 2 ohms. So 5 into 5 is 25 by 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 2. 2.5 plus 2 4. Point ohms. So this is our Thevenin's resistance. So the second step is to find the short circuit current. For finding this short circuit current or the Norton's current, you have to short your load. So please draw a circuit where there is no load, which means I am going to short the load. So across AB now there will be a short circuit. So across AB you have short circuited. So now we have got to find out the current through this short circuit path. Uh, so looking at the circuit uh, we can find the current through this path uh, uh, using mesh analysis. So already we have done mesh analysis in the previous videos. So now let me take this mesh current as I1 the clockwise direction and I2 as the uh, mesh current 2. Obviously, if I find I2, that will be the current through this short circuit path or between uh, AAB. So, given a circuit like this, then uh, by using mesh analysis, uh, let me get I1 and I2. So, in the, the sum of all resistance in the first loop is 5 plus 5, 10 and uh, resistance between the first loop and second loop is 5. So, it is minus 5 here second loop and first loop the resistance is common resistance is 5 so it is minus 5 here and sum of all resistance in the second loop is 5 plus 2 7 
and here you have the loop currents i1 and i2 and in the right hand side the vector you have voltages associated with every loop uh, so in the first loop you have here from minus to plus and while crossing this 5 volts it is from plus to minus so it is totally 10 minus 5 volt while considering this uh, second loop it is minus to plus 5 volt so it is plus 5 so it is enough if i find the uh, current i2 because i2 will be the current uh, uh, through the uh, uh, short circuited path a b so to find the current i2 it is i2 is equal to del 2 by del del is nothing but a determinant of this matrix so determinant of this matrix is 10 into 7 that is 70 minus uh, minus 5 into minus 5 is 25 so it is 25 which is equal to 45 and uh, del 2 is nothing but a determinant of this matrix that is I have to replace the second column of the del matrix with the right hand side the right hand side is uh, 5 5 10 minus 5 is 5 and this is 5 so I will write it as 5 and 5 so the determinant of this is 50 minus into minus plus 25 which is equal to 75 so i2 is nothing but 75 by 45 which is equal to 1.67 amps so now we can draw the Norton's uh, uh, equivalent circuit equivalent uh, circuit first thing is you have to take the uh, short circuit current ISE how much is ISE? ISE is uh, uh, the current through AB which is nothing but 1.67 amps 1.67 amps in parallel with RTH which is 4.5 ohms and across AB initially we removed a load that load is nothing but 10 ohms so this is your Norton's 1.67 amps is your Norton's current which we have derived it here this is equal to IN or ISC short circuit current. This Norton's equivalent circuit uh, can also be converted into a single voltage source in CDC with uh, 4.5 ohms. See, you can see here 1.67 amps in parallel with 4.5 ohms. So, using source transformation, you can uh, just uh, replace this current with uh, resistance in parallel as voltage source voltage source in series with one in series with the resistance 4.5 and this 10 ohms this voltage will be nothing but 1.67 into 4.5 which is uh, which will come around to 7.5 to volt and this is 10 ohms so this circuit is nothing but a Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So from Norton's equivalent circuit, you can uh, get a Thevenin's equivalent circuit or uh, vice versa. That is from Thevenin also, you can get a, a Norton's equivalent circuit. And now if uh, using this uh, particular circuit, uh, if you would like to find the current through the uh, 10 ohms uh, resistor, then obviously you can use current division rule to find the current through 10 ohms resistor. For example, current through 10 ohms is nothing but the total current entering at this particular terminal here is uh, 1.67 then it divides into 2 so by using current division rule the total current is 1.67 into opponent hand is 4.5 ohms divided by 10 plus 4.5 that is 14.5 which we will get it around uh, 0. 5 to amps 
so the current to 10 ohms is uh, 0.52 amps uh, if you would like to find the power dissipated across 10 ohms then uh, obviously you can uh, i square r you can use i square r formula 0.5 to the whole square into 10 so students uh, we will discuss uh, another theorem in the next video